left off here after edit, we're going to go to view. Let's go here and we're in Pro Tools and now we're going to go to view. Here we go. Now in view, I can use my mix window view. See, I can just a mix window. I'm not my mix right now. I'm in edit. So I can go right back to here and edit view. Now here in edit view, I can do commands, mic pre. We showed you earlier, these are the same menu options that we had within the window, but they appear here under view. Beats, bars, this is for the rulers, this is for display. I can display the universal, the track list, the region list, and the MIDI editor. I can also do the region sync point, processing state, the name, channel name. It appears you see right here, right here in this list here. So you can do all that. And this is in view. Now also I can assign the sends. Let's say I want to say this send A or send B. This can be done right here. See? Check my assignments off. I also have the track number. So I'm going to track number right at the transport. So I can do the trans. I can say, well, I want to put the counter in transport. I want to put that in the transport, you know. Pull the transport window up here like you did before. And I could say, okay, back to view. There's transport. No, I want to give it expanded. So some of the same commands you saw before, we can see them now in the top menu bar here for Pro Tools. And this is all for view. And the main counter right there. Next to that, we have track. I can make a new track. We showed you before I can do a group, make a group. I can group those tracks together. I can duplicate a track. I can make a track inactive. I can go to this track and say, I don't want to use that track. It's totally inactive. And look, it's inactive now. And I want to undo that. Undo. Look, back to here. That track's inactive. Let's go back to track inactive. Make active. Bam, it active again. See that? It's pretty cool. I can also delete a track. Input monitoring only. So I can Im monitor the input only that track. That means this track will only hear what's going in. Even if these sounds are in there, the readings are in there, I'm going to hear that. We'll cover more of this later on in our session of recording. I can scroll to track. I can create a click track. Now, next column we have is regions. This is where we can lock a region up. So you see here we edit, we can lock and unlock a region. Once we do, you see this little, right here, you see this little thing, right, a little lock right there. See that? That's a regular lock to a region. We can also do a time lock to a region. So I can undo the lock, do a time lock. See that? Undo the time lock. I can go out here, send to back, bring to front. I can rate. I can rate some. I want to rate it. I want to rate it here. Five. I can rate that, see that? Group, we can loop the region. We can rename that region. Scroll back up. I wanna call it something else. Well, let's call it, we're gonna call it. You can rename the region. This way you may say, I wanna know what the name of this new region is. I have two of the same name, but different numbers. I want the specific one to be take one, be take two. And that's why I wanna rename a region. So it's right here, we have many ways and use all these functions within Pro Tools. Uh, we can remove the sync point. We can quantize to the grid. We can check the elastic properties of a region. See this? No elastic properties are selected. See that? So, we're going to go back here to event. Now, event here is the time operation. We've got um, tempo operation. We've got event operations. Here we go. In time, we have the change the meter. Insert time. Cut time. Move song start. These are all events we can do. We also have beat detective here as well. We have MIDI track offsets, MIDI real time properties. So these are features that we use using MIDI a lot, of course, obviously. Here, this time event thing, we have the quantized value. I can move the event. And this I use primarily mostly with MIDI. But right here, the beat detective allows me to look at a sound, a sample, or a region and say, well, I want to get what is the tempo of this particular region. And we would use Beat Detective for that. We can identify the beat. So we don't want to identify the beat. Well, it's beats and bars, and we want to renumber the beats and bars. This particular region is this length. It's so many bars, and so, um, I don't know, 
know, we'll make a different, we'll, come, we'll renumber the region. That bars in the region, in bars. So, we'll go back down here. We can um, all MIDI notes off. These are all events in the event list we can deal with, plus beat detecting. Next, we have audio suite. Now, this means we can use any one of our plugins here. You'll see them come up here. And the plugins that you have in your system will appear here, and we can apply them to an edit window right here to a particular region. I can say here, put a chorus on this particular region right there. And I can apply that chorus to the region. Once I'm ready to go, I can press process, or I can go to here. Well, let's bypass, let's preview how it's going to sound with that region. So we'll do more of this later on. Right now, I'm going to show you how this menu is, works here. Now, below that, we have delay, of course. See everything's right here. And all these effects here in Audio Suite can be applied to any one of these regions here. Or if I turn it over, I'm going to go back to the mix window. I put my mix window up. And I got it here. That's what we got on the right there, too. See that? Good. Now, let's close this window out. And next, we're going to go to options. Now, here in options, we can do destructive record. We can do loop record. Quick punch record. Now, remember this when I opened up the transport window? These options were there as well. So there are also buttons, and there are also commands within Pro Tools to do some of the same things we've showed you before. So I'll get you familiar with this menu bar here in Pro Tools. See this? We have link timeline edit selections. Link track and edit selection. Automation files edit. A lot of these features we'll show you later on and show you how they work within your Pro Tools setup. Here we have hard drive. This is hardware, rather. This is playback engine. This allocation, peripherals. This is all in setup, IO setup. So this is our setup. And of course, preferences here again. We'll go ahead and MIDI. We can set up the MIDI Studio. We can set up the MIDI B clock, input filter, and we can set up the input devices here in setup. And let's have windows. So we can open up any window we want. The window configuration, uh, the range of the windows. We have close this window. We have everything right here for you. These are all the windows that we can open up within Pro Tools. And they're all right here for us to access. And if you need help and you're working your Pro Tools system and you're not too sure what you're going to go on, you say, what am I doing here? I'm not too sure. You can go to the Pro Tools Knowledge Base. This will access it directly uh, to the internet, providing you have internet access, and you can access the Pro Tools Knowledge Base. Or, right here, the Pro Tools Help File will search the Pro Tools PDF file for any information you're trying to look for and get that for you. There are several guides already in Pro Tools that, the, that get accessed by this menu right here. And of course, you can check for updates to get the latest update for your Pro Tools 9.0.